天組により我らがより強く結びつくという案いかがでございましょうかマリコさん、Don't go to Osaka My allegiance forbids me from doing anything else 我らは敗北に向かう道を進まれる殿に従うことはできませぬまたは己の務めを果たす覚悟ができておるか What is up, everybody? Jeremy e i s e n f i r e here, and welcome to my Shogun Episode 8 Preview Breakdown. Episode 7 certainly left Toronaga and company reeling after the betrayal of his brother, and of course, the death of his son. And for the first time in the series, we genuinely see Toronaga contemplating his next move, whereas usually he always seems to be 10 steps ahead of everybody else. Whereas here, we kind of see Toronaga as close to hitting rock bottom as we've ever seen before. So, it's going to be interesting to see how the series plays out over the final three episodes, and in particular, how exactly will Toronaga react to the death of his son, and will it alter his plans to submit to Osaka in any way? The episode 8 trailer starts off with a scene between Ashido and Ochiba, with Ashido suggesting that he and Ochiba become married to strengthen their bond. And it's going to be very interesting to see exactly how Ochiba responds to this proposal from Ashido. After seeing all of the trials and tribulations and everything else that Ochiba went through in order to provide the Taiko with an heir, I get the feeling she's not going to be in any rush to join another union. So it's going to be interesting to see what her answer is to Ashido, especially considering how much Ochiba values her now independence, an independence that she hasn't had in her life in a very long time. But next, we get an interesting scene between Blackthorn and Mariko within Tornaga's battle encampment, with Blackthorn urging Mariko to not go to Osaka. With Mariko, of course, stating that her allegiance to Tornaga forbids her from doing anything else. We did see a scene between Tornaga and Mariko in episode 7, with Tornaga demanding that Mariko make a decision once and for all. Is she with Blackthorn, or is she with Tornaga? And it seems like, in this moment for the very least, she is making her allegiance to Toronaga known. And I get the feeling this is also going to have something to do with one of the scenes we have seen in some of the previous Shogun trailers, with Mariko seemingly fighting off some of Ashido's men with inside the walls of Osaka. So who knows, maybe Crimson Sky isn't dead after all. We also get a very interesting scene of Toronaga meeting with some of his vassals, with them sharing their displeasure with his current course of action, stating that they cannot follow him on this current path to defeat. And for a character that has seemingly had a plan for every situation up until this point in the series, we are finally starting to see things seemingly start to fall apart around him, starting with, of course, the betrayal of his brother, followed by the tragic death of his son. To now, with some of his most loyal vassals questioning his decisions. So, it's going to be very interesting to see how exactly he responds to all the losses that he has recently occurred, and how exactly will he pull himself out of this latest hole. But then, the trailer ends with a scene between Toronaga and Mariko, with Toronaga asking Mariko if she is finally ready to do her part. Which, again, I do have a feeling this is tied to some of the previous scenes that we have seen of Mariko fighting within Osaka. And again, Crimson Sky seemed to be off the table after the events of Episode 7, but I also get the feeling that Toronaga is not playing all of his cards either. For someone who seemingly always has a plan to get out of every situation, I get the feeling he also has a plan to get himself out of this current predicament as well, and it might involve Mariko. But there we have it, folks. The end is in sight as we get ready to dive into the final three episodes of Shogun, and I cannot wait to see how the rest of the story unfolds. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how these final three episodes compare to the ending of the book. And quick spoiler warning for anyone who has not read the book and does not want to know what could potentially be coming. But in the book, it famously does not depict the final battle between Ashido and Toronaga, the Battle of Sangahara. In the book, all we see is the aftermath of the battle. So I'm really looking forward to seeing if the show is going to depict the battle itself, or if they are going to follow the book version and only show the aftermath of the carnage. I personally would not mind if the show went in a little bit of a different direction and actually showed the final battle between Toronaga and Ashido's forces. Which they could potentially end up doing if these new stills that have recently been released are any indication as to what is coming, as we see Toronaga. And Ashido gathered on the battlefield with their respecting armies. But definitely let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Do you think we will see the final battle on screen, or will they follow the book version and just show us the aftermath? 
And how exactly do you think Toronaga is going to react to the death of his son, and will it alter his plans in any way, shape, or form? But that is going to do it for our Episode 8 trailer breakdown, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit a like on your way out, and consider subscribing to stay up to date on all of our upcoming content. And don't forget to come and hang out with us live every Monday and Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our Shogun Live discussion. And as always, I want to give a big thank you to everybody out there for watching, and a huge thank you to all the channel members, and we will see you on the next one. Life and death are the same. Both can have value and purpose. Remember, we live and we die. We control nothing beyond that. <laughs>